from Universal Studios in Hollywood, California, it's home and family. Our next guest lost her sight as an infant, but found a world of color in music. From the documentary Hearing is Believing, please welcome to our home musician and composer, Rachel Flowers. Hi, Hi Rachel. Hi. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. You have been called a musical prodigy. Yeah. So just how many instruments can you play? Oh, a lot of instruments. Mainly it would be like piano, flute, guitar, bass, saxophone, singing. Uh, wow. Ukulele. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's enough. You can stop whenever you're ready. <laughs> oh my. But goodness. she can do them all at once. Ooh, which that's is pretty really impressive. Amazing. That's not true. You're going to sing a little later for us. Um, not sing. You're going to play a little later. Excuse me. You're welcome to yeah. sing as well. <laughs> you so definitely I... don't want us to sing. But could you play a little something for us right now? A little mm -hmm. taste, if you will? Yeah. Goodness, and not beautiful. wait to go out and listen. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. But right now we are taking some time out and spending a little moment or a couple of moments with her very rare musical talent. Rachel Flowers is her name. A Hi. documentary is out about her life. It is called Hearing is Believing and it has just opened in theaters. Rachel, welcome so much to our home Hi. and our family. Hi. So as your story goes, you lost your sight as a as a young baby. When when did you discover music? Hmm. When I was very little, mom and dad would always sing to me and play piano. Well, yeah, they play piano and guitar. Mm hmm. Um, mom would, mom and dad, they would always tell the story about when I was two and a half. I used to pound on the family piano, and mom took me gently with the fingers and taught me twinkle twinkle little star and Aww. picked it up from there so oh, really that's, so that's what it started off as mm -hmm. oh so the documentary follows you and your family yeah. tell us a little bit about the film it's pretty much uh it talks a lot about my life so far how it all started when i first uh retinopathy of prematurity the musical development it's got my mom in there and my family's mm -hmm. in there and but it really follows your journey and as you discovered mm -hmm. this wonderful gift that you have yeah. that seems to come to you so naturally. And mm -hmm. I know that you're spent, there's others that you have looked up to, you've yeah. admired along the way and had a mm -hmm. chance to not only meet but perform with some yeah. musical legends. Um, mm -hmm. Like you had a chance to meet Stevie Wonder, yeah. I know uh, Greg Lake nice. and Dweezil Zappa. Yeah. Um, Arturo Sandoval. Um, Emerson uh, was another one. Yes. Wow. What was it like um, connecting with with such wonderful talent like that? Mm. It was pretty exciting to be meeting both Keith Emerson and Greg Lake. Mm -hmm. I have, a lot of my start and starting to become well known was uh, on YouTube. My mom would record myself playing a lot of Emerson, Lake and Palmer tunes and post them on uh, YouTube. And that was where it all started. And then Keith heard about me, Greg heard about me, and I was lucky to have known them both. So Greg Lake and Keith Emerson actually saw your saw your um, posts on YouTube mm -hmm. and they contacted you from a lot of fans I'm, I'm not yeah. exactly sure how mom knows a lot about it but uh. Jeannie is that how it happened this is Jeannie your mom thank you for being here Jeannie is that how that happened pretty much we when she was about 16 years old we started posting YouTube videos of the songs that she liked to play and a lot of it was Emerson Lake and Palmer their what fans. A lucky girl she was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the yeah, jokester. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the fans caught on and started, from what we heard, they inundated Keith Emerson and Greg Lake with these videos saying, You gotta You've meet got this to girl. And so check this out. they reached out to her. I mean, that right. is something else. Yeah. That, I mean, if that's any indication of just how talented you are, yeah. and I know you've put together so, uh, a few clips from the film so we could all take a look at just how wonderful this is. Cool. Take a look, everybody. When I found out I was pregnant with Rachel, we were very happy. I went into premature labor, and she was born 15 weeks premature. She ended up having several eye surgeries. We just had to accept she was going to be blind. For Rachel, music is her heart. 
she's just freakishly talented, just un unbelievably talented. I'm blown away by her ability. She is a legit prodigy. But you see, she uses her ears as her eyes for the world. Wow. Wow. So you're, you're going to perform for us here. Yeah. Uh, and this is called uh, a song um, off your album. It's called Greg's Favorite. And the album's called Listen. Yes. And you can find it on a whole bunch of places like iTunes, Amazon, yep. Bandcamp. It's Listen by Rachel Flowers. And I play all the instruments. I did all the programming and all that stuff um, with some help of some other people to get the work going and then really you needed life. help from other people I know people. <laughs> yeah, I really seriously <laughs> so, so it's called Greg's favorite yeah all right is this because it was Greg Lake's favorite mm -hmm. wow well that we don't need to wow. hear any more I don't okay. think okay then I'm pretty sure it's our favorite too Rachel <laughs> yeah. Rachel please take over and we'll right. sit back and enjoy the show okay a little excerpt here Wow. And the birds also believe too. They yes, the birds, <laughs> the birds do believe. believe. 